Hello and welcome back to this week on my YouTube channel. This week I am doing something I've probably had planned for a long time. I've hinted at it a few times in my videos. Here are my materials. But if you haven't guessed already, I'm making Harper's Marker Dress from Wizards of Waverly Place. Now, I had this idea several months ago, like I just said. I think I bought these markers in like April or May. So it's been at least six or seven months. I have 300 markers. I have three of these boxes. Will I need more? Probably. Part of the reason I haven't done it yet is because it's kind of a difficult project. I have not really figured out how I'm going to do it yet because you have to connect all these markers to a dress and I just don't know how to do that. So I have been putting it off because I just didn't even know how to make it. I just knew I wanted to make it. And I decided that I'm just going to finally start it and figure it out because Halloween is coming up and this would be a cool Halloween costume. It kind of reminds me of those 20s flapper dresses that have like all of the fringe on it and it's kind of put me in the 20s spirit which is why I've been playing the game June's Journey a lot recently. But what's June's Journey? Well June's Journey is a hidden object murder mystery game that is free to download on your mobile device. In the game you get to play as June Parker and your goal is to solve the murder of your sister through finding hidden object clues in various scenes. These scenes are beautiful to look at. They are set in the 1920s and the game is just a perfect way to sit back and relax. I'm a big fan of playing the game because it's a great way for me to take a break in between sewing which is basically what I do all day long and it's pretty stress-free while still being a little bit challenging. Even though it is a murder mystery game it is not scary to play. It's actually quite fun. I have to admit I love that it's set in the 1920s because it's kind of giving me a little bit of inspiration to dive more into to historical dresses. This one I made for New Year's Eve going into 2020, but this game has made me want to make a new and improved 1920s dress. You can download June's Journey for free by clicking the link in the description box below. June's Journey is available both on Android and iOS devices, and you're also able to play through PC on Facebook games. Thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. It's definitely put me in the 20 spirit and it's put me in the mood to make Harper's marker dress. The part about this dress that I think is the lamest is that the markers hang like this. So you can't even use the markers once the dress is done. So that kind of sucks. The biggest hurdle here is figuring out how to attach them. And I think I have a plan. So let's get started. I'm gonna tackle these markers first and then I'm gonna make a base dress before we attach the markers. Um, but I wanna show you my plan for attaching these. I was just practicing this um, before I started filming. My plan is a very, very good one. And it involves a candle, the markers, and a needle, which I need to go get really quick. Let me get some markers out. This dress is not cheap because markers apparently are not cheap. Each one of these boxes is like 20 bucks. And I have a feeling I'm gonna have to buy another one, but that's fine. So I have this candle. I'm going to light the candle and get out a match. I don't have a lighter and I couldn't find one. So matches will have to do even though they scare me. <gasps> okay. Oh boy, do they smell good. <coughs> okay, I have a candle. I lit that with my band books match set. Okay, I tried this at home earlier. It should work. You're gonna need a needle and then the marker. I haven't tried it yet on these, so we'll see. So basically I'm gonna heat the needle up with the flame and just poke it through here. Oh, it worked. And just make a hole. Okay, that worked. The only issue is I don't have the rings yet I'm attaching, so I don't know if that's gonna be big enough. I'm gonna try it with an awl as well to maybe get a thicker one. Let me see if that will work better. Mm, oh, it's gonna be very time consuming. I don't think the awl is gonna work. We'll just stick with the needle. Let's do another one. It's gonna take a long time, like 300 of these. Oh my gosh. I feel like maybe I should go get the rings before I continue. Cause what if they only have like thick rings at the store? I'm gonna try to do a close up of this too. It's so cool. So you can see there's like a hole. So I'm doing a hole on one side. So I'm just gonna heat up the needle and then stick it through and I'm just gonna spin it around to make the hole bigger. 
and then you can see that there's a hole in there and hopefully it's big enough. I just need to do that 300 more times. These are what I have done so far. I had to stop because they were jumping up here. I didn't want anything to happen. It's gonna definitely take a long time. I'm nearing the end of the first box and I have come up with a new system. It's unfortunate that I found out right at the end, but I have been using the needle and it's like so small. So I was, it was starting to kind of burn my fingers. So I went and got this wire I have. I just cut a piece off so I can like keep my distance from it. And it's also thicker. So now I'm able to burn way bigger holes in there. You can't really see because of the lighting. Because with the needle, you had to like kind of swirl it around to try to get a bigger hole and sometimes it wouldn't work. So now now it's going by a lot faster and I think it's more efficient and this way I'm definitely gonna have a big enough hole on the marker for the ring to pass through and I'm not gonna have to go back and remelt it so I'm glad I figured that out a third of the way through it's a new day and <laughs> this is gonna be a long process I think I've only done one box so I've done like a hundred of them let me check this box Let's see. oh have I done 200 already no, that can't be right. Have I already done two of the boxes? Let me check more. Oh, okay, Mr. Huber. Mr. Huber has temper issues. Yeah, he's an anxious boy. I actually just got him on medication, but he doesn't want to take it and it's too expensive. Okay, I actually think I did 200 markers yesterday. All of these have holes in them and I started the third box. I thought I started the second box. I have like the first two rows done. So I'm gonna keep melting these holes. Ever since I came up with my new method, it's been a lot faster and the holes are, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but they're big enough holes. So I think that it's going very well. I don't know why I put this off for so long. I am going to watch Bachelor in Paradise and I'm going to melt the rest of these markers. I expect it to take at least like maybe an hour. It takes a while because it's hard to look at the flame for so long. It feels like staring into the sun. So I have to take little breaks because I just, you have to watch the flame so you like can heat it up, but it's just hard for me to do that for so long. Doing these uh, matches, it's so scary. I can never get it. Oh no. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, that one didn't work. I gotta do it again. It's stressful, man. <coughs> I need to get a lighter, but I couldn't find one anywhere. <coughs> okay, let's do this one more time. Okay. The problem is that it won't it won't take okay one perfect we got it okay let me do the rest of these unless i've missed some we have 300 markers with little holes in the top, or I guess that's the bottom of them. Now from here, I need to make a dress. For the dress fabric, I have this fabric that I've just had on hand for a long time because it wasn't what I expected when I ordered it. So I just had nothing to use it for. And it's kind of the same blue that Harper's dress is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. It's really thin, um, but I don't think that'll be an issue. And I think I'm just gonna do like uh, a simple shift dress i don't even have a pattern i'm working off of i'm just gonna kind of guess and i can it's just a pretty simple dress and it is a little sheer but i can just wear a slip underneath it i'm not going to line it or anything i'm gonna try to save as much of this as i can because i'm thinking about using this for my sarah sanderson dress that i'm planning on making for her cape i'm planning on dyeing it because it has like a nice flow to it so i'm not I'm gonna try to use as little of this as possible i think i'm gonna lay it on the ground and maybe trace around my body. I did not film it. That's embarrassing, but I did lay down on this and trace around my neck and stuff. And ironically, I'm using one of the markers to kind of sketch my pattern here. I'm just going for a basic pattern that I think will fit and I can always adjust it. I don't really know how long it needs to be yet. If you're for some reason making this, which I really doubt you actually are. I would look up for a pattern, like simple shift dress or something like that. And I'm sure you'll find something that you can use that will work. Or you can do what I'm doing and just kind of guess. I'm having a lot of faith in myself. This is going to be the back piece. It looks like a hospital gown. Oh no, I don't think the armholes are. Well, 
I think I'm gonna have to recut the armholes. This is literally hospital gown vibes. Okay, I was wrong. I did do a lining. It was too thin and I realized that the marker kind of bled through so I had to do a lining. Um, this is the lining sewn together. It's a really good fit. I'm really happy with it. Hopefully it's long enough. I did give it a trim but now I'm worried it will be too short. Let's hope not. I do need to do this top stitching right here and then the back of it I need top stitch and then we'll work on the sleeves and I found a zipper so I don't have to go to the store. So that's happy news. I just need to finish up the blue dress. This is like a really easy project. I'm really excited about it. This is such a good fit, but it's so hospital gowny, but it looks like her dress, I would have to say. I need to get that ribbon that goes like this. I don't know if I wanna get like a rainbow one. Hers is like a light rainbow. I'm gonna add the zipper. It's not closed in the back, but look at that. I made this in like, I don't know, 40 minutes. I think the sleeves also need to get trimmed. I have this on, it's really tight right here, but there's nothing I can do about that. So we'll just move on as planned, but the rest of the fit is really good. I wish I could do something about this. If I really wanted to, I guess I could take the whole back out and redo it. Maybe I should do that because I want it to be comfortable. It's kind of cute. I went to Michael's and I got two different types of things to attach the markers with. I got stuff, things called jump rings. They're like the rings that open and close that you use for jewelry. And then I got split rings, which are also used for like keychains and stuff. And they're the ones that you kind of like open it up and then they like go back together. Cause I wasn't sure which one would be easier. I got both and we'll do some tests and see what it's like. And then I also got this ribbon. I don't know how well it's gonna work because it's sheer and wired. I don't know. And then I got this skinny rainbow one. I wish they had one like this that was thicker, but this one was the best they had. So I'm gonna take these into my house and start playing around with how to attach the rings. I actually decided to redo the back. I added like those panels because it was just too tight. It's still a little tight, but I also worked for like 5,000 hours yesterday on putting these dumb markers onto this strip of trim and they keep getting tangled. And let me tell you my fingers, they're in a lot of pain right now. They're literally like they hurt because it's uh, strenuous, but you can kind of see the vision. <laughs> It's gonna look so good. I think the dress is a little too short. I think I need to add a panel onto the bottom because there needs to be three rows of markers. It just needs like a few inches longer. And then I need to spend the rest of my day making more of these. But I think this one, I put the markers on here. Let me show you up close. So I found this trim I have that has these holes in it. So I got those rings. I put the rings through the holes and I put in the markers and then I put them around the trim. I don't know if I have enough of this trim, but it's gonna work for a bit. So that's what I've been doing. This is gonna be hard to sew. So I think what I'm actually gonna do, I'm not going to take this apart. I'm gonna use it, but for the, before I do anything else, I'm gonna sew the trim onto the dress first and then put the markers on. I think that will be a lot more effective and easy. This is what it looks like. I added the under the bust ribbon thing. It looks really good. And then I added this trim that I've been attaching the markers to underneath it so that I'll attach the markers and then they'll hang. And then I went ahead and measured how long the marker is and I sewed down this other trim that I'll attach the markers to. And then the last layer, I already have those markers and I'll sew that on. And now I am sewing the same trim onto the sleeves and I'm using this ribbon. Uh, it's a bit darker than the one on Harper's dress, but that's okay. I sew the ribbon down on the top and then I'll put this underneath it and sew on the bottom. And then the sleeves will just need to be hemmed and I can start adding the markers. You guys, oh, of course my cat's right in the way. Look at that. Um, I sewed the ones that I had on the strip. I'm glad that I had the idea to pre-sew it because it was very hard sewing this on, but it looks so good. Um, I need to get that spot in the back, but it looks exactly like hers. So now I just need to add the row right here. I need to add the row right here. I need to add them here. And then I need to go get the mini ones to put on the neckline. This literally is amazing. I am literally so impressed with this. I have been sitting here for the past two hours markers on this dress. Fingers hurt very bad, but I'm almost at the end. I'm at the top layer now, maybe like halfway through. And I'm at that point where I don't know if I have enough materials. It's like either gonna be the exact amount or just less than what I need. So we'll see. Basically, these are all looped. Let me turn the camera around. This is what I'm doing. I put the loop through there and then I put it through one of the holes on that lining, close it up 
and the markers stay. It's very, very heavy. The Harper dress is almost done. I'm literally, oh, the sun. I'm literally about to punch it. Last night, I was scouring the internet for where to find little markers because the top of it has like little ones. And the only brand I could really find was Sharpie, but they were like a gray body. It was only like dark green, red, black, not fun colors like the rest of the dress. And the only other place or brand that had many ones like this that were more fun and colorful was Target. I have two Targets where I live. I have one right next to me. It's like a two minute drive. And then I have one on the other side of town. It's like nine miles away. It's like a 20 minute drive and it feels just really far away But my tire was out of stock and I was determined to finish this dress today So I drove myself over to that far away target to get these little ones. They're not even markers. They're dry erase I guess that's still a marker. So now I'm going to attach them I don't have to melt them because they have that little hole So I'm gonna attach them to the top of the bodice and this dress will be done <laughs> dress I think it turned out really really good and I think it looks so close to Harper's dress and I'm so proud of it thank you again to June's journey for sponsoring this video don't forget to go download the game with the link in my description box below you won't regret it it is such a fun game that's it for this video see you next time bye